if I understand correctly, Uno san, mm. correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. AI, artificial intelligence, basically you can feed it mammograms, you can feed it Go uh, games, you can feed it uh, all kinds of problems. If you define the desired outcome, then the same algorithm should be able to re recognize patterns and start to adapt to it? Or do you need to create an AI for every different application? No, uh, they just have, for example, uh, <coughs> mammograph uh, experiment. Mm. They have 10,000 cases in the system. Right. But 10,000 cases, they separated 10,000 cases to two, two, two groups. Mm. One with 8,000, one with 2,000. Mm. And they education 8,000, and they try to learn 8,000. Right. And remaining 2,000 give for test. Mm. And they, they want to uh, study 8,000 experience and test 2,000 compared. Mm. This is uh, uh, their current deep learning system. But the mathematics, the computer programming, is not fundamentally different. So, so like the base layer, you can apply to different kinds of problems, whether it is uh, recognizing breast cancer or whether it is uh, playing Go. The same AI, same AI. could, yeah, right? Yeah, same the, the logic. Like, <coughs> like they have, uh, so this could become like open source, AI could become open source. Yeah, open source. But open source, but uh, they, uh, IBM, Google, uh, they, they know how to wait, how to bias this whole system, 100, 200, 300 layers, how to design the old layers. They have no how. Right, but for the average, average person, no, well, average. But let's say to the to the average re average researcher or business person, they would be able to actually easily program against a collectively available AI algorithm that and and feed it whatever they want. If they have the data, if they have the, a clear specification of of what the outcome is good or bad or right or wrong or or whatever then they would be able to feed that data against that a a ai and actually get a uh an, an outcome that would be able to predict it's a uh, the actual case like this hmm. actual case is uh, not simple just one big data okay because uh, just putting all big data in the system may be biased. Okay, may be biased. Mm. Because uh, many cases inside data. Mm. So usually they try to shuffling all data and separate five groups. Mm. And five groups, they're going to prepare, the, put in the system five times. Mm -hmm. And they try to get the result for each of, each of those. And then even each of those, we don't know what is the uh, best solution. It means uh, like a several curves here. Mm. Which one is the bottom line? Nobody knows. Mm. Do, you, do you understand what I mean? Relative mi minimum or an absolute minimum. Right. Yeah. So five groups, but even, even one group, they need to cut, cut slicing several data. Then try to do the uh, differentiate for the each group. Mm -hmm. They try to get in. We don't know that what kind of graph coming up, mm -hmm. but they just differentiate several, cutting several groups. They got the bottom line for each differentiate, mm -hmm. and bottom line is uh, is means uh, is slice slice is zero. Yeah, the angle is zero. angle is zero, mm -hmm. and they try to several zeros. And what is the lowest one? Mm -hmm. He picked a one from one data group. This is lowest, mm -hmm. and also they try to next one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. They try to check all those five uh, most lowest figures. This is the best solution. Mm. He tried to figure out what is the best solution. Cancer case is different. Cancer case is, uh, they just, uh, you can see dot, cancer dot. Mm. This is the education. Mm. They understand. And these, uh, right. even is, MIU, MIT? MIT. MIT. Well, MIT. Well, uh, uh, MIT. Well, uh, uh, MIT. Well, uh, uh, MIT. Well, if I saw you, well, yeah. 
It's kind of just usually this kind of uh, analyst, doctor analyst, mm -hmm. is very keen to figure out this is cancer or not. Right. But the computer is more precise, yes. more hundred times precise. Mm -hmm. And they study this is cancer, this is not cancer. Mm -hmm. Give them suggestion, this one cancer, not cancer. Kind of data that they try to give them, they, they study. They can get better answers instead of kind of, kind of you know, graphs coming up. Right, but she can leverage available AI. For example, she could actually use, she could feed the mammogra mammographies, uh, mammo mammographs uh, uh, into um, Google AI, for example. Oh, this case is, uh, she's going to say, this is cancer, this is not cancer. Right. It gives them... Uh, the right, the outcome, yeah, so yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so, yeah. but, but my interest is, okay, do, do we have, in the future, do we have like thousands and thousands of, 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 of AIs that need to be programmed or can we, do we, do we have like a, maybe a few hundred AIs uh, that companies offer as a service where people can basically rent a place to, 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 to create their own program that they can, can use against the AI and then and then next step feed their data and then pull out the results so say they've been using mammographies would it be possible for somebody uh, a few doors down at the lung department to be able to recognize lung cancers so create their own program uh, project but use the same ai technology uh and basically expand and expand and expand on that so is is do you need to manipulate the ai itself in order to get the results or do you only need to uh, manipulate the input the outcome uh, requirements uh, and the input and 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 the and the well the rules of the game basically i don't understand you what is your question okay so Basically, no, no, take this, this one, this one. Mm. This one very simple very simply put so we have uh, here in the AI we have uh, you put in goals you put in data then you put that into the AI and out of that after it has learned it creates predictions right okay so this ai if we use this for mammography do we if we want to use it for lung cancer do we need to reproduce the system so goals data and predictions a ai do we need to create a second system or can we use it like this what does this mean oh. well okay this is for lung, for uh, breast cancer this is for lung cancer you need to define the rules of the game right okay so for example if you want to teach one AI program to different AI lung and uh, breast is different really yeah every every time she going to put in data this is cancer not cancer, the sound of Yeah, sound. okay, there's different data. The, 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 uh, we agree, there's different data, we can't change it. But the AI, is that the Diffe same? Yeah, no, no, the same, different. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, they, they uh, need to prepare the, the, uh, the different, you know, di diagnostics, different diseases, ah, so different AI. Mm. AI is not the same. That's the reason Google and IBM make a lot of framework. Like uh, uh, stock market price, you know, just uh, stock market market price AI is different from, from the breast cancer. Real estate AI. is different from real estate AI. Is different from oh, I see. Every industry is different. Oh. Layer is different. Some cases one thousand layers. Some cases three hundred layers. And uh, who who's going to put in layer? This is IBM, Google analyst. And putting layers and the result is uh, coming out result. They believe this is not not the right answer. They try to switch layers, but usually kind of cancers they know 
cancer or not cancer. Yes. This is just doctor. They know the outcome yeah, already. Yeah. Yeah. They can study. But still they cannot get 100% accuracy. Mm. 95% or 97%. So of course. And there is some mis misjudgment. They will want to of come. course. But the question is... But can AI, is every AI is different. Can they be better than yeah, So, but, but I tell you, but next year, okay, I tell you, Google or IBM, they're going to put in programmer, the analyst, is uh, several thousand programmer, each company. Mm. Or one million, two million already, but they are secret. They hire 3,000 programmers, like for example, in Vietnam, in Indonesia already. They ask them to prepare the code, but they don't have a kind of system before. Mm. Like SAP already existed for 30 years, mm. but kind of area is very new, no program. But they need to prepare by, by industry, by uh, uh, type, of com type of company. They need to prepare each different AI. Mm. So if customer is going to ask them, okay, I'm a pharmaceutical company, and uh, over the counter pharmaceutical, not hospital, they're going to prepare the one AI. And this one is, okay, this 300 layers. But depending on the case of putting parameters, okay, we're going to put in parameter, 30 parameters. No, I have 50 parameters. I think we can provide for another AI. Mm. Because a lot of parameters. So it's kind of, uh, so that's the reason I decided from now on, we, we cannot call, okay? We don't need to call. Google will going to provide you. This is 100, 100 AI. I tell you, currently, uh, they will not uh, open the how many employees is, or how many subsidiaries, you know, subsidiaries company existed. But I think programmer, at least several thousand programmers working for Apple, working for Google. They conceal it. AI. They conceal it. And, I, and then ask, to, for example, for this energy, you can ask them how many Python programmers they're going to answer for you. 300, 400. But if you're going to ask Google, there are 6,000, 1 million, or maybe 3 million. So two digit differences compared to Japanese companies. But 3 million programmers, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, but actually they, they need 3 million. For example, 